Number 16 then from paper one of the 2021-5 resource paper, just the two marks. A function is defined by, here's the formula for the function, f of x equals 4 sine 3x. If that's the case, evaluate f at 90. Well, that just means put 90 in place of x. So that'll just be 4 sine, I'll put this in a bracket, 3 times 90 degrees. And in fact, doing that gets you a mark. So that means you've got 4 sine and 390s are 270 degrees. So the last mark's just for evaluating that. Now the best way to do that is just think of its graph, the sine graph. It starts at 0, it goes up, down, and finishes at 360. It goes up to 1, it goes down to negative 1. There's 180 in the middle. So that's 90 and there's the 270. So at 270 the value is negative 1. So you've got 4 times negative 1, which is negative 4. Now that isn't the graph of this, of course. That's just the basic sine graph, because this graph is 4 times higher, and with a 3x it's been squashed up to only th a third of the length. So number 17. Sketch the graph given by this equation here for x. 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 4. And on the sketch of this graph, you have to show the important things, which is, where does it cut the axis? It's giving you a clue here by just seeing the point of intersection of the y-axis, so it's letting you know it doesn't cut the x-axis. But normally, when a sketch, you would show where it cuts the axis and any turning point. Well, you could expand that out because it's going to be a quadratic, but it's actually better in this form. It will save you a lot of work because this will tell you the turning point straight away. And it's still an equation. It still works out Y coordinates. It's still the same formula. It's still the correct formula. If you put in any value of X, this will give you the value of Y just the same as the expanded form does. Anyway, sketch it. So I'll need a be set of axis. So there's that. Now, what this does tell you is, this will give you the lowest that Y will ever get to. Because when you square a bracket, if you square a bracket, you can't get a negative answer. The lowest answer that bracket can ever give you is zero, in which case the lowest value of y would be zero and four is four. So the lowest y is ever going to get to is four. But I can state that this way. The minimum value of y is going to be four when x equals whatever it takes to make the bracket zero. That would be a 1, when x is 1. When x is 1, the bracket comes to 0, so y will be 0 and 4, which is 4. Now, just knowing that, knowing that you've got that turning point at 1, 4, didn't necessarily need to show any working, is the first mark. Now, where does it cut the axis? Well, it's a positive x squared, because that's a 2, an ordinary 2 at the front, so it's the right way round. So it means it can't cut the x-axis, because it can't get that low. So it's only going to cut the y-axis. But I know where it cuts the y-axis. It cuts the y-axis when x is 0. In which case, just put 0 into that. y is going to be 2 times 0 minus 1 squared plus 4. Now that's negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. So it's 2 times 1 plus 4, which is 6. So it's going to cut the y-axis at 0, 6. That gets a mark. Now just put it together here. You could put that wherever you like. You could just draw it and then put the figures in rather, rather than putting points in and trying to snake your way through them. So it's going to come like this. So that must be at 6, 6 up. And that must be 1 along, even though it doesn't look like it, it doesn't matter, 1, 4, because I've not actually indicated a scale here. So. There's the mark. That's the graph of y equals 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 4.